What's up? This is uh, Rich with CollegeKid.com. We got the Weirdo on the line. The Weirdo is one of the know. most creative and underrated artists in underground hip hop right now. What's going on, Broski? Man, I'm all good. I was just working, man. Putting in that work, you feel me? Yeah, we see you out here, man. Here to speak yeah. about your latest music video, Bonfire Children. And for our listeners, I suggest y'all go look that up right now on YouTube. The video is pretty crazy. Okay, yeah, Duero, yeah. you're known to go outside the box with your visual projects. What, what inspired this? Oh, man. <laughs> Basically, man, it's like a compilation of what we see, you know what I'm saying, for these media, you feel me? Yeah. And, uh, you know, Bonfire Children is like, it's, it's a metaphor of, you know what I'm saying, all different types of stories of what I was telling inside the video. There's a lot going on in the opening scene, like... You got a white statue of Mary. You got four masked men in the van. An older gentleman preaching from a Bible. You know, there's a lot going on. Can you break down each thing going on in this opening scene? Well, I, to, to be honest, you know, at that point of what I was thinking about, yeah. you know, I, I, I was seeing people trapped, you know what I mean, and blind to the fact of what, of not knowing what's wrong anymore. You feel me? How does that relate to... You know, you got two women, you know, dressed provocatively. How do you relate that to those things going on in the opening scene? But it helped me actually put that together, man. Um, I have an auntie that's yeah. real close, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, she go through shit, right? Yeah. And um, the stories that I hear from her, man, the stories that I hear from her, man, it kind of helped me, you know, paint that picture. I, I wanted to paint them. She was helping me paint a picture for that at that at that time being. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you know, two of the two of the women. You know what I mean? Because I mean, you know, she felt you know she felt pussy. You know what I mean? You know, it's real life. You feel me? Yeah. And it's no way out of it. Next to him, we see a, a guy in a wheelchair. He's counting money. So. Um, oh, he was. <laughs> oh, he he was their pimp, man. Okay, so he's the yeah, pimp. He, yeah, he he was their pimp, man. You know what I mean? And. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 so, yeah. Most likely the guy, he's actually in a wheelchair too, and he actually actually do do that shit too. So let me put that out there, you know. Okay. You know, <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, he was he's um actually a pimp and shit, man. And um, hey, I mean, it's always about it's always about the money. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean. So I wanted to show that side as well as you know as I was doing the video. You feel me? Every every plate, everything that was going on was a big ass sin. Like that, yeah, like yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a big ass sin. A big ass sin. I like how you put that. Well, it's a yeah, multitude it was like of sins. Big going ass sin. And then we got the mass dudes in the uh, van. They're like bouncing back and forth, you know. So what I see it as is, are they getting ready to go into drill? And they listen to drill music. Uh, <laughs> okay. what, what's going on right here? I, that's what I took from it. But I want to, I want to hear from your, from your mouth. Like, what, what's going on right there? Oh man, um, well you kind of nailed it on the head, like they're going on a drill. I don't want to put, um, I don't want to say music is the reason why people call them drills anything. But like music is a, is a, um, let me see how I can say this, uh, let's say this, okay, um, those three, those three gangbangers that was rocking out in the car together, yeah. that was, was the that was the site of that was the site of how people be that was the site of how like I mean well, at least where I'm at bro <laughs> that's the site of what I'm like what I'm what I'm knowing to see before a nigga go to a drill or anything like they get amped up they pop pills you know what I mean they yeah. get in that mood they get in that fuck you zone that's and right. then they go do what they gotta do you feel me that's crazy so yeah so yeah that, it was kind of like that it was you know getting pumped up hyped up to go do what they gotta do. So what, what is your role in this? Because in the next scene, you're carrying a cross. So do you compare yourself to Jesus as if you're the one to lead everybody to to righteousness? <laughs> um, well, no, I, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I, I don't want to take nobody's title under that act. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, you know, at that scene, man, you know, I was just, I was feeling like some of the problems we face in the world, man, and, and like at that at that part in the video, I wanted to use a sim like a symbol of hate, which converts to you know black on black crime. That's why you see the man with the cool cuss clan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I like what that. I mean? That's what I thought it was. I, yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, you, you feel me? Yeah. That's why you see the man with the cool cuss clan, like you know, get get get. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So. 
you know, I mean, that, that's kind of why I was getting towards that. You feel me? And um, and like you know, where, and where, like I said, man, where I come from, like you know, a, a lot of innocent people get killed, and a, you know, what I'm saying a lot of families they start asking the question, like they start questioning God and asking why. You feel me? Yeah. And then those same people go and commit a sin. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like it takes you into like different worlds, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just kind of takes you to like different worlds, man. So that whole thing kind of, you know, pretty much describes itself like that, you know? Okay. Yeah, man. And right there, you mentioned the guy, the, the, uh, the black man wearing the Ku Klux Klan outfit, but we also see behind you a hillbilly. What is his role in this music video? The hillbilly? Yeah. Oh. The guy with the overalls. Well, um, well, I mean, the shoddy. Like, really was the, you said what? The guy with the overalls with the shoddy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that kind of states, you know what I mean? Uh, no matter what color they face is, man, they come in, you know what I mean? They, they come in all colors. Somebody's always going to try to bring you down. I mean, like, like push you, you feel me? Yeah. It's, it's either the white man or it's going to be a black man or Uncle Tom, you feel me? Yeah. It's always a motherfucker going to be trying to push you, bro. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, it, it's just a crazy message, man. I swear to God, man. And sometimes, you know, when I tell, when I talk to people about it, man, it be so certain parts be so deep and shit, man. It's like yeah. it's, it's, I can't even just like you. You have to see it's something that you can't even really describe. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I got to take you around and shit in order to. It's like you, it's like you know, basically, you're you can you can better show them than tell them. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. Which is, which is this, exactly. this phenomenal music video with Fly Ty at the at the uh, behind the camera on this here. You see a lot going on. Okay, so we go. Let's go back to talking about the guy in the Ku Klux Klan. I think that I think that's very important for our listeners to um, just to gauge, just to understand. So, so basically, what you're saying yeah. is like this black on black, black on black violence is, is a huge issue going on in the black community. Why why don't you think that um, black on black violence is, is being talked about as much in the media? It's like right now, the Black Lives Matter is only about you know police brutality and you know. Racism. How can we? Uh -huh. How can we bring black on black, black on black uh, violence to the forefront so we can come together and love each other? Man, I know, right? Like my nigga Biggie said back then, can we all get along? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure, man, you sure. know, people got pride, man. It's a lot of pride, shit, man. It's a lot of I'm better than the next man, shit, man. Yeah. But 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 when a when a black man kills another black man or a black kid kills a black kid. kid you know what I mean? It's a, damn, he got killed, that's fucked up, that they go on, right? Yeah. But, but if a white man kill a black kid and shit, then it's, he did what? I'm on yeah. Facebook, I'm on Twitter now, I'm on, white man killed this kid, white man killed that kid, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. all this shit needs to be brought to the front table, you know what I mean? And yeah. I feel like, shit ain't gonna change, man. Shit ain't gonna change, bro. It's a lot of, it's hypocrite, bro. Hypocrite yeah, shit hypocrite. going on, you feel me? Same motherfucker had a Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? He had a nigga yeah. grill like, man, we about to roll on this nigga, you feel me, yeah, dude? Yeah, yeah. So, and, and, you know what I mean? You know, and I rock with the movement and all, man, but it's like, man, it's a lot of bullshit being portrayed out here, man, you feel me? Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, hey, man, so it's, a, it's a lot, man. It's a lot, man. For, for some shit to, to bring black on black crime to stop, man, it is going to take Jesus himself to walk these streets, man. <laughs> Jesus himself, <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta see something. Yeah, but I some, think we all, we all got God in us, though. I think we all can do all can do our part, man. We all can you do know, our man. part. I said I think we all got God in us, man. So we all can do our part. You know. Yeah, most definitely, man. Most definitely, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. And, and and to be honest, man, you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not even a, a a Christian Christian man, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but I definitely believe in you know what I'm saying. Almighty, you feel me, God. You know what I mean. Yeah. And it's like. I'm just, I, I see the real out here though, bro, you feel me? That's why I like, you hear me rap about bullshit, you feel me? Lambos, texting ass, ride up with a nigga and doing all that goofy shit, bro, because that, that shit ain't out here, man. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people, you feel me? Well, that shit, that shit ain't out here, man. You know? Yeah, you got some, you got some tough niggas out here, but at the same time though, man, that, that shit just being promoted through the media, man. I mean, Motherfuckers ain't living like that, man. I like, but going back to religion, this, this is one rhyme you rap in this scene when you're carrying the cross. You said, "Wrapped in the world full of sin, 
a few believe in God, now they let the devil in. Kind of, I, I like that. I like, I like that. I like that right there. Like, what inspired that uh, line? Can you, can you break that down? Yeah, man. That line trapped in the world full of sins. A few believe in God, but now they let the devil in. Yeah. Um, you know that goes back to the uh, when I was saying that a lot of people question God, ask why. You know, what I'm saying those same people following up on the God's prayer or God, you know, whatever may be the case. Yeah. But what happens is. They, they start down to a point in their life, why, why? And then, next day, bro, yeah, yeah, we just we just got them niggas back. We just got them niggas back. You feel me? Yeah. See, it used to, it used to be left up to God saying, like, you know, I'm going to let God deal with it. They'll get caught. Or all that, if God will deal with it. It's going to be all right. But, I mean, to, to be honest, bro, like, I can name two hoods, strips with nobody go to church anymore, bro. Like, yeah. I'm actually living out here in this shit, bro. Like, nobody... Go to church, bro. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we living in a, a, a bullshit fire of sin, bro. Like, like real okay, shit, so that man. ties in. That basically ties into the beginning of your music video when you got all these sins going on, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like, I like Yeah, bro. That's deep, that's deep, man. Yeah. You recently dropped your Dirty Bastard EP. Where can people go to find it? Oh, man. You can go on iTunes and go check that out. iTunes, Dirty Bastard. Um, yeah, it dropped, it dropped, uh, I want to say April 6th, man. Yeah. It dropped April 6th. I got like, ugh, I think I got 12 joints on there. Um, 12 banging joints, man. And, um, man, yeah, go cop that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you check out my website, www.weirdo.com. I got that going on. Um, uh, you know, Facebook, Daryl J. McKinney, you know, um, uh, shit, Twitter, the weirdo God, Instagram, the weirdo God. You know what I mean? Oh, so. so, yeah, man. So, man, I'm, shit. Man, I'm, I'm here to stay, though, man. Shit is only going to get crazier, though, man. Hey, man, make it happen, bro. <laughs> shit is only going to get crazier, man. Looking forward to There's the next one. There's a lot of creativity, off-the-wall, artsy shit. <laughs> you know, that's how I want to put it, you know? Man, looking yeah, forward to it, man. Now. Okay, man, it was, it was good speaking with you. With you. Um, for our listeners, um, Visit collegekid.com for the best and latest hip-hop and urban news. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter and IG at CollegeKid. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube. Thanks for listening.